now what is foreign key let's understand foreign key uh let's say this is student id is there okay student id is there one more column is there student id and this is our primary key guys this this particular student id is our primary key which is having student id as 0, 01 0, 02 something like this all student ids are there and there's one more column there's one more table over here that uh, this this table name is student okay this table name is student and there's one more column uh, let's say class okay there's one more table sorry not column there's one more table which is class so there's uh, name of the student and then there's uh, one id okay student id maybe and then there's class first second third fourth class whatever then there's section so this table contains all the attributes with respect to class okay with respect to class that's what it contains so how these two tables are related with each other what is the relationship between these two tables which two columns are related one one is this primary key right this primary key from uh, from the student table and and this one right guys like a relationship thing relation yes. yes these two tables how they are related to each other how can we uh, make some relationship let's say if i want to find uh, there's some student name um ankit itself yes. what is so i was explaining about primary key right what's a primary key so primary key uh, have two properties okay so any key which is unique each and every element is unique when i'm saying unique no two elements are same that that part we understood right let's take student id no student id is going to be same right this particular column yeah okay so that's a uniqueness that's a unique property okay and when i'm saying not null not null means every student will be having some id there has to be some student id okay so if these two conditions are satisfied that's a primary key okay sir okay so in this case how these two tables are related with each other one is student id and there is normal id it is we understand it's a student id only but let's say it's id okay so this is how these two these two tables are related with each other. We'll see one more example in next slide. So this is our primary key, right? This is our primary key, okay? From table student. And this primary key is connected to this particular column, this particular attribute. It can be primary or it can, uh, it can be a normal attribute, okay? So this is our foreign key, guys because this is related to this particular table okay this is our foreign key so this is our foreign key okay this is our foreign key because this is linked with primary key of table one okay that's why it's a foreign key so is this different from the student id no it's same only the values are going to be same of course that's why it's linked right so primary key and the foreign key is the same it, it's possible it can be a case that your primary key can be a foreign key as well no, I'm asking then what is the difference between primary key and the foreign key? So look, so this is foreign key for this table, okay? This is foreign key, this ID is foreign key for class table because this key is connected with some other table, okay? So this, this is foreign key for this table, right? Similarly, this student ID is foreign key for student table when it comes to 
so this is also foreign key this is also foreign key now it it depends how you are looking at it okay from which table perspective the kind of this foreign. is that yeah. both, I mean, they are separate but they are linked by uh, it somehow student id is another primary key and this id is somehow other primary key so it's, just because no, it no, is no. linked this id can be primary key or cannot be primary key okay it's not necessary look foreign key. okay now uh, let's do one thing uh, we'll we'll get to foreign key just give me a moment so correct me from... Uh, uh, so, who was that? Nikhil, so even primary key can be a set of multiple attributes, okay? It's not necessary that, because when it comes key, right? Whenever that terminology key comes in, key itself means one or more than one attributes together. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Can can we see this table? Can we see this yeah, table? Yeah. These two tables, right? R one and R two. So in R one table, uh, we are having student ID over here, right, guys? And in R two table as well, we are having student ID over here but this is not unique right this is not a primary key okay and this is connected with student id right that's the only relationship we can get between these two tables right let's say if i want to find department of john if i want to find department of john this this uh, person john i'll go to its i'll go to his student id 101 okay his student id is 101 then I'll go to this table and I'll search for 101, uh, 101 student ID. Okay, this is the department, CS underscore department. It's a CS department. So that's the relationship, right? So these two attributes, one is this and one is this from two different tables. They are, they are, they are making the connection, right? They are making the relationship between these two tables. It's a RDBMS, right? relational uh, database management system there has to be some relation between two tables so these are the two columns which are making that relation so one of them the one which is primary key that's a primary key and the other one is foreign key okay which is connected to this 